Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to be doing uh, some more T-Mobile 5G home internet speed tests. Um, it's actually 11.15 a.m. on a Saturday. Um, so I did actually get a later start. I said I was going to get a video out, you know, in the morning um, and see, uh, you know, what kind of speeds we get before the afternoon or late afternoon. Um, so I still, you know, am getting a video out, you know, it's still 11.15 a.m. on a Saturday, it's still considered morning here, um, so, uh, let's actually get into this video, um, so keep in mind it is actually raining today, um, and it actually is somewhat windy out there, it's not like really windy, but it is, uh, really coming down with the rain out there, um, I'm actually looking out the window right now, um, so, like I've said in my other videos, you know, you can expect your speeds to be cut in half, basically, um, you know, when it's rainy out or, you know, bad weather, um, so definitely keep that in mind, um, and I've put another video out talking about that, you know, we get speeds in the ranges from 500 to 600 for the download, um, so if you, if you, uh, get speeds, like, you have to keep in mind with this kind of stuff, um, if you get speeds that are, like, really slow, like 50 to 100, um, you know, or, or less than that, um, you have to realize that those speeds are actually going to be cut in half, um, so, you know, if you already get bad speeds, um, you have to keep in mind, you know, that it's very possible that you're not, that, that when it, you know, rains or storms, um, or it's very windy or, you know, bad weather in general, um, it's very possible that you'll get speeds that are basically unusable, um, because your speeds are going to be cut in half, you know, when it's, you know, raining or storming or whatever, or bad weather in general, um, so you definitely have to keep that in mind, like I've said on, you know, a video on my channel, um, I have that on my channel, you know, if you want to check that out, um, you know, I go more into detail about that, um, but anyway, let's get into this video, so I am actually using third-party equipment, so you have to keep that in mind as well, um, I'm using a Chester Cheetah version 2, uh, router slash modem, or gateway slash modem, whatever you want to call it, um, and I'm also using a, uh, waveform 4x4 antenna connected to that, um, up in the attic, so definitely keep that in mind. So let's, uh, run some tests here and see what we get. Okay. Wow. And like I've said with the upload, uh, I've actually been talking about this for a little while um, with the upload on my on my channel. You know, the upload is terrible in our area. Um, but, uh, that was a really good one on the, uh, download, 614 for the download, um, and like I've said in my other videos, you know, as well, um, you know, as long as you get over three for the upload, you're fine, um, you know, which is true, because I don't have any problems, you know, uploading stuff, um, but like I've said, you know, you do have to realize when you, when you have bad weather, um, you know, like today, it's very rainy outside, um, you know, it's really coming down out there right now. Um, you have to keep in mind that your speeds are most likely going to be cut in half, um, you know, depending on, you know, the kind of equipment you have as well. Um, so I've noticed, you know, when I had the regular T-Mobile 5G home internet, I actually noticed um, that my speeds were, were cut in half. You know, we were getting like 300, um, you know, consistently um, you know, on the download, and we were getting around the same upload speed, you know, normally the upload speeds are higher than that, um, it's probably going to go up, you know, probably in the next, you know, test or so, um, I'm hoping, but, um, recently, they've actually been doing, like, tower modernization, from what I've heard, they've been saying that they've been doing tower modernization in my area, um, and the ping is actually down, though, too, so that's definitely a good thing, um, I've actually heard on people, uh, I've heard people on Reddit, um, actually complaining about the ping spikes, um, and the ping was actually higher last night, you know, when I was doing tests, and actually the last couple of days it's been higher, 
Um, normally for the ping, we average around like 20 to 30, um, you know, or lower. So that's, you know, definitely a good sign that it's lower in this, you know, first test anyway. Um, but also you have to keep in mind that I did reboot the gateway last night um, before I actually, you know, started doing this video. So it's had time to, um, you know, refresh and stuff. Um, but it is also, you know, raining outside. Like I said, you know, it's pretty bad weather out there today. Um, and sorry about my voice if it sounds a little bit raspy. I, I just got up not long ago. Um, so, uh, I actually have some, uh, water over here that I'm going to, you know, drink. So, um, so like I said, definitely not bad on that one for, you know, a rainy day, a really rainy day, 614 on the download, uh, 3.94 on the upload, not, you know, great and also not too bad. Um, and then, uh, ping 20. Definitely not bad on that one for the download. Now, like I've said, I've also I've also been hearing that there's been network problems with T-Mobile um, recently. So you know, it it does seem like the ping is actually better on this today. You know, it's better today. Um, but there also has been uh, actual problems. Um, with T-Mobile recently, I've heard that they they've been doing either tower modernization um, or they've been having problems in general. I can actually check the down detector app um, and see what it says here. Open up the down detector app here. So as you can see, you know it still is a somewhat wavy line. Um, and you know that's not good. It's not actually you know like in the red or anything. Um, or in the or in the yellow like it was, um, but it's still saying down here mobile phone. It's still saying 36%, which is pretty high, um, and it's also still saying 34% uh, for 5G home internet, which is also pretty high. Um, and as you can see here, you know there's a bunch of red, um, and I'm in this area down here in South Jersey, um, so that's still in the red. So that's definitely not a good sign. Um, and, you know, anytime it's going to be a wavy line like that, um, you know, that's definitely not a good sign because I can show you guys with Verizon uh, how it's actually supposed to be. Well, actually, Verizon is actually somewhat of a wavy line now, too. Um, and it's still, uh, you know, yeah, Verizon actually has more in the red now um, than it did yesterday. It says 42% for mobile phone uh, 25% for 5G home internet, so that's definitely not good. Let me check, uh, AT&T here. So AT&T is also in the red more now. Um, you know, it's a more of a wavy line than it was. Um, 46% for mobile phone for, uh, AT&T. Uh, mobile internet, uh, 9%. Um, landline internet 19%, no signal 17%. <coughs> so uh, that's definitely not uh, good. Let me see Metro, Metro by T Mobile. So Metro by T Mobile is also uh, more of a wavy line here. Um, it's saying mobile internet 49%, which is definitely not good. Uh, mobile phone, uh, 49%, which is definitely not good. That's, that's, you know, pretty high for mobile phone and mobile internet. Um, so you also have to keep in mind though, like I said, you know, some people are probably complaining, um, but there's not really much you can do. You know, some people are probably complaining because it's rainy out today around this area. Um, and you know, there's not really anything you can do about that. Um, you know, with mother nature and stuff, you know, there's nothing you can do. Um, like I've said, you know, you have to expect that your speeds are going to be cut in half. So like I've said in my other videos, um, you know, you have to expect that. So, um, you know, when you have bad weather, you know, depending on what kind of weather it is, um, you know, for how long, um, you know, you're going to have to expect your speeds to be cut down. 
Um, you know, I don't know how much, I mean, because it doesn't seem like our speeds are actually being cut down today, um, you know, when it's raining, but um, sometimes it does happen and sometimes it doesn't. Um, it also does depend on the equipment you have. You know, I have third-party equipment, um, you know, so it could be, you know, depending on that. Um, you know, uh, it, it just depends on your area. It's very area-specific, like I've said. Um, so I go more into detail about it in my other videos, you know, on my channel, so check them out. Um, I have one talking about, <coughs> excuse me, if, uh, if uh, T-Mobile uh, 5G home internet is, you know, right for you or if it's not. Um, and then I have another one on my channel talking about, you know, the weather and the effects of the weather and stuff. Um, so on this one, definitely not too bad at all. 648 on the download, uh, 7.45 on the upload, and uh, 26 ping. It actually seems like it's affecting the upload more today, unless the upload is still being terrible. Because uh, normally, normally with the upload, we get even we get uh, more than what we're getting now. Um, but like I said, you know, you have to realize, you know, with the rainy weather, um, you know, it's going to be affected. You know, stuff is going to be affected. Um, you know, like I said, either the download or the upload, um, or the ping or the download and the upload and the ping. Um, so you have to keep that stuff in mind, you know, that's not going to always be, um, you know, you know, great, you know, when it's bad weather, you have to keep that in mind. Um, but I'm impressed with the download speeds, though, for today, you know, you know, 11.27 a.m. Um, on a Saturday, you know, 6.39 for the download on that one, um, 7.79 for the upload. I kind of wish it was a little better, but, you know, definitely, you know, not unusable. Um, so on the ping, you know, like I said, only 28, so definitely not too bad for that. Let me run one more on this server, and then I'll switch over to the, uh, Ashburn VA server. So as you can see, the ping did, uh, spike a little bit there. And it looks like the speeds are being cut down a little bit now. Like I said, it is it is bad weather out there today, so there's nothing you can really do about that. Um, but that's that's definitely not bad at all, though, for, you know, it being rainy and stuff out there like it is right now. Um, you know, the and, and like I've said, you know, before, the ping, um, you know, the ping spikes are, are going on, you know, it seems like all over right now for some reason. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but I read on Reddit, um, you know, that people are experiencing ping spikes, and they say that they don't normally have that, um, and we don't either. We don't normally have that, but um, it also could be because of the weather, like I said, so I, you know, said that before this video, um, before I started the video even, you know, um, you have to keep in mind the time of day as well. Um, you know, it's 11.28 a.m., you know, a lot of people are probably, um, you know, inside, you know, on their phones and stuff, um, you have to keep that in mind, you know, it's bad weather, um, so a lot of people are going to be home, you know, on the weekend, you know, Saturday, um, you know, streaming stuff, you know, kids and everything, um, you know, home on the weekend, um, and not only that, you know, like I said, the bad weather and, you know, general um, you know, with all that stuff, you know, combined, so you have to keep that in mind, um, and, and like I said, you know, your speeds are going to be cut in half most of the time, um, you know, when it's bad weather, normally, um, actually when it's bad weather, these are the kind of speeds that we normally get, um, we normally get around like 500 to 600, like it was getting, um, but occasionally it'll drop down to like 300, um, you know, maybe occasionally like 280, 290, um, but we can overcome that because it's not, you know, going to last, um, you know, all the time. It's not going to last, you know, and 
um, you know, after the bad weather is done, you know, I can reboot the gateway, um, you know, or sometimes I don't even have to reboot it, you know, sometimes it'll just give me my speeds back, um, and I don't have to reboot it, but, you know, occasionally I do after bad weather, um, you know, they actually get the speeds back, you know, that we're used to, the 500 to 600, um, but, you know, that's, that's, you know, this is a very good example that I can actually show you guys, um, you know, if you do have bad weather, you know, you're going to get, um, you know, slower speed, so I'm glad, um, that it actually did do this, so I can show you guys, you know, what I actually mean, um, by that, um, so as you can see, you know, like I said, 343 on the download, definitely not too bad at all, still very usable, um, 6.80 on the upload, I'm hoping that that's going to go up, um, you know, but like I said, it is bad weather, so I'm not expecting miracles, um, and then, uh, 69 on the ping, but the ping doesn't normally stay there, and as you can see, the ping went right back down again. I'm going to go uh, actually get a drink of water here. Well, this is doing what it's doing. Sorry if you guys hear that, by the way. It's a uh, air uh, purifier. So definitely not bad at all on that one, though. Uh, 5.59 for the uh, download, 11.8. Uh, for the upload, basically uh, 12 for the upload, um, and then uh, only 30 ping, so definitely not bad. Let me actually uh, switch servers here and uh, switch over to the Ashburn VA server. So yeah, I've I've basically, you know, uh, like I said, you know, then you can see here too that it's a good sign, you know, that, that our speeds are pretty much hanging steady, um, you know, even with the bad weather, which is actually a really good sign. So maybe they were actually doing tower modernization, you know, maybe they were making the tower around here better, um, because it definitely seems to be, uh, you know, holding holding more steady. Um, than it actually was used to, that it actually used to, um, you know, when it's been bad weather out there, so maybe they've, uh, maybe they've improved on the 5G around here, because like I said, the 5G is spotty in our area, um, so that's very possible, um, and normally, like I said, you know, it, our speeds are normally cut in half, um, you know, between, you know, when it's bad weather, um, you know, or if it's a Saturday or a Sunday, um, you know, especially in the morning or the, you know, almost afternoon. Um, so this is definitely a good sign. Um, so on this one, uh, definitely not bad at all. 629 for the download, uh, 15.2 on the upload. So the upload did go up, um, and only 31 ping. So definitely not bad. And it is really coming down out there. So definitely not too bad on that one, uh, 594 for the download, 15.6 uh, on the upload, and only 31 ping. Run one more on this server, and then uh, go back to the West Norton PA server. So yeah, I'm uh I'm pretty, you know, pretty impressed with these speeds, guys. You know, 11:34 uh a.m. on a Saturday. Um you know, like I said, uh, they're they're definitely not bad speeds at all. Um you know, for it being bad weather out there today, you know, very rainy. Um you know, hard rain out there. Um so on this one 6:40 for the download. Uh, 16.5 for the upload, a little bit slower on the upload today, but 
you know, uh, definitely, you know, still usable. Um, so let me actually, and then, uh, yeah, ping 30. Um, so definitely not bad at all. Switch over to the West Norton PA server here. And like I've said, you know, just because T-Mobile isn't actually in the red um, on the uh, on the down detector um, doesn't, you know, mean that they're still not having problems because it does seem like they're still having problems. Um, you know, like I said, it also could be due to the weather today here. Um, but it also, it, it does seem like the upload speed has been a little bit off recently um, because normally we don't get upload speeds this slow. Um, you know, normally we get upload speeds at least consistently in the 10 um, to 20 or 30 or more. Um, so it definitely seems like, you know, something's still going on with either the network um, or the towers or something. And I just got a triangle notification um, on my phone, you know, about uh, severe weather around here. Um, so it definitely is, you know, bad weather out there, you know, very rainy um, so, you know, that very well could be the problem with the upload, but, um, you know, it's still usable, like I said, as long as we get over three, uh, you know, for the upload, you know, we're fine. I, I read on, uh, Cox Cable website, um, and that's coming from a cable provider, um, saying that as long as you get over three for upload, um, you know, you're fine. That's, you know, sufficient for most households. Um, and like I said, we don't upload much. Um, you know, obviously I upload a lot of YouTube videos, um, but, you know, uh, other than that, you know, we don't really upload much, and I don't, you know, like, sit there, like I said, and wait for it, you know, I just go about my business, you know, whether I upload it on my computer or on my phone, um, you know, I just, I just put it in the background and go about my business, I'm not sitting there waiting for it and being like, you know, oh, come on, you know, stuff like that, I just, you know, go about my business, um, and when it uploads, it uploads, you know, I don't worry about it, um, but, uh, on this one, definitely not bad at all for a rainy day, like I said, you know, 11.37 a.m., um, on a Saturday, um, for the download, 6.63, um, for the upload, you know, 3.75, yeah, I wish it was kind of better, um, but definitely, you know, not unusable, um, like I said, you know, you know, in my other videos, you know, down detector is still, um, you know, somewhat indicating that T-Mobile is still having problems. Um, so you do have to keep that in mind. And with the bad weather, um, you know, that's not going to help in any. So, um, so on the ping, you know, only 29, definitely not bad at all. I'm actually going to be watching uh, the Flyers game here soon, so this is actually really good that we're getting these kind of speeds, um, you know, on a rainy day like this. Because sometimes I actually have noticed that I've had problems, um, like, uh, like, like occasionally, not, not very often. Um, it also could be because I use a free VPN, um, you know, and the, and the speeds are slower with a free VPN. You guys know how that is. Um, so I actually use Proton VPN, um, the free version. I use that on my Google Chromecast with Google TV 4K. Um, I use that and, uh, I actually use Kodi. Um, you know, it's not really legal. I'm not going to, you know, get too much into that. Um, but I actually use Kodi for my, uh, live TV and everything, um, like I said, I'm not going to, you know, talk too much about that, what I actually use, you know, what sources or anything. Um, but, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard about that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, we, we use Cody for our live TV um, and movies and TV shows and all that kind of stuff. And I also use, you know, free stuff like Pluto TV, um, you know, stuff like that um, that's actually legal. Um, you know, and I use, you know, stuff that's not really so legal, like BTV, um, TTV, Freeflix, um, you know, stuff like that, because it's Android, so I can, you know, basically download anything I want onto it, um, but, uh, so I have actually noticed sometimes, I don't know if it's because of the VPN, like I said, it's possible, um, but I have actually noticed that I've had, like, uh, buffering, um, more, 
um, it seems like when it's like a rainy day or it's, you know, a, you know, windy day, um, or bad weather in general, so you have to keep that in mind, um, you know, that you might have, you know, like buffering and stuff, um, more, um, you know, when it's bad weather, but it also depends on your equipment, like I said, um, you know, if you're using the stock T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway, um, or if you're using, you know, third-party equipment, you know, your experiences might be different, um, so it's, you know, like I said, and it's also very area-specific, um, so you have to keep that in mind as well, um, so definitely not bad on that one, uh, download 629, um, upload 5.44, and like I said, you know, as long as we get over 3 for the upload, um, you know, it's fine, um, and then, uh, ping 29, So the ping actually seems to be holding pretty steady here. You guys might actually be able to hear the rain outside. I'm not sure, but I I can definitely hear it. It's definitely uh, coming down out there today. So not bad on that one uh, for the download, 579 for the download, uh, 7.88 for the upload, and uh, 29 ping, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let me actually go back to the uh, West Norton PA server, or Ash Ashburn VA server, I should say. So the good sign here is the ping is actually, uh, like, we had that one ping spike that was like 69, I believe, or 70, something like that, um, or 68, something like that. Um, but ever since then, you know, the ping has been holding steady. So that's definitely a good sign. So on that one, definitely not bad at all. 593 for the download. Uh, 16.9 for the upload, we'll say 17 for the upload, and then uh, ping only 30. Definitely not bad on that one either. Uh, download 644, um, upload 16.7, and then uh, ping only 29. Run one more on this one, and then I'll go back and uh, run three more on the uh, West Norton PA server. Definitely not bad on that one, 666 for the download, uh, 18.9, basically 19 for the upload, and then uh, 29 ping. So let's actually go back here and uh, go to the West Norton PA server, one, three more on this one. And yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely windy out there today. It's, you know, getting more windy actually now. So, uh... It's definitely windy and rainy out there. You know, not, not like really windy. Like it's been, you know, the past couple of days we had, you know, some really high wind. Um, but it's, you know, it's definitely, uh, you know, somewhat windy out there and rainy. So on that one, definitely not bad though. Five ninety three for the download, um, eleven. I mean, ten point four for the upload, and then uh, only twenty nine ping. So definitely not bad at all for eleven forty four a.m. on a Saturday. And like I've said, it does still seem to be hanging somewhat. Um, like when I try to do a speed test, you know, it seems to like hang and, you know, wait a little while, um, before it actually, you know, does the test. 
Um, so it doesn't normally do that, so I don't know, um, you know, if it has anything to do with the weather, um, or if it has anything to do with the, uh, you know, the network modernization or whatever, um, but I have noticed that the download, I mean, the, uh, upload speeds, um, like I've said in my other videos, I have noticed that the upload speeds and the ping, um, actually has had, you know, some, uh, ping spikes, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm hoping, um, you know, that the upload speeds are going to improve, because it seems like, if anything, the upload speeds have actually disapproved, um, you know, or, uh, or basically, uh, downgraded, and that's definitely not good, um, so I'm hoping, you know, that they're still working on the towers or something, you know, I'm hoping that they'll, you know, uh, get this stuff resolved soon, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, the upload speeds will go back up, um, you know, at least 20s, you know, like we normally get, um, but like I said, you know, it is bad weather today, you know, so you gotta keep that in mind, um, you know, it's, uh, raining outside, it's windy a little bit, um, it's, you know, raining constantly right now, you know, it hasn't stopped, um, so that's definitely not bad on that one, 6.15 uh, for the download, uh, 4.40 for the upload, and then 30 ping. Run two more on here, and then I'll run uh, one more on the uh, West Norton, uh, I mean on the uh, Ashburn VA uh, server. But I am really impressed with these, uh, I, I am definitely really impressed with these, uh, download speeds for today. And like I've said, you know, as you can see here, you know, the upload is struggling on this one, but, you know, nothing to really be concerned about. It doesn't stay there, you know, that, that happens occasionally when it's, when it's bad weather, you know, it'll, it'll, uh, dip below three, um, but that, that very rarely happens, um, so on this one, download 635, but like I've said, you know, you have to keep in mind, um, you know, that they still, you know, seem to be experiencing problems with T-Mobile, um, so definitely keep that in mind with the bad weather and, you know, stuff, you know, going on today as well, um, you know, with the possible tower modernization, like I said, you know, you have to keep that in mind, um, so like I said, you know, 635 on the download, very good for the download on that one, um, 2.30 on the upload, um, you know, that's probably not going to stay there, like I said, um, and 32 on the ping, so definitely not too bad, run one more, and then I'll switch over to the, uh, the, uh, Ashburn VA server, And as you can see, the upload did go back up, so that's definitely a good sign. So definitely not bad on that one, uh, especially for the upload. Uh, 5.80 or 581 uh, for the uh, download, 11.3 for the upload. So the upload did go back up. That's a good thing. Um, and then uh, 33 ping. Let me actually go back to the. Uh, West Norton PA server and uh, run, run one more on that. So definitely not bad on that one, uh, 612 for the download, 18.5 uh, for the upload, and then uh, only 29 ping, so definitely not bad for that one. Um, but anyway, yeah guys, I'm going to get off of here, and I'm going to get some breakfast and stuff, I'm going to, you know, uh, probably relax a little bit, um, and, you know, enjoy the rest of my weekend and stuff. Um, I'll probably do more speed tests either tonight, um, excuse me, or tomorrow, um, you know, I'll probably do some tomorrow because it's supposed to be better weather. It's supposed to be partly cloudy tomorrow. Um, so I'll probably try to do some in the morning as well, um, you know, before the afternoon and see what we get. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.